Oh my god. Oh my god, the sky is being painted. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> it is so I don't even know what to say. This is a night I will remember for the rest of my life. There's just no, there's just nothing about it. You know, seeing, seeing the aurora where it usually happens, it's one thing and, and that makes it really, really special and, and you remember it. Um, but seeing it in a place where, you know, this is a ski resort in Washington state. There's very rarely you can see it, uh, you know, like once a year, but small line, that's it. This is the whole sky. It's bright enough where I'm here. There's nothing illuminating me besides the red there, the green there. This is it. It's been a month since the video that you just saw and to this moment I cannot stop thinking about that night and I wanted to share a little bit more about what we did to make that happen. I've always been fascinated by everything that happens with the sky like solar storms, eclipses, meteor showers, the Milky Way. So in the days leading up to May 10th I started seeing some uh, reports about X-class solar flares coming out of the sun and they were being aimed to the earth. That morning, I got notifications on my phone by some Aurora apps that I have, which I will share here. And then people like Adrian, Nice Lights Films, started showing uh, some data about the sun and, and the activity increasing, which for me confirmed that something huge was about to happen. So when it comes to chasing auroras in Washington state, it's something that's pretty rare and very uh, unpredictable. But an aurora of this size meant that we had the chance to really see it. So with my friend Rick, we started chatting where we wanted to go. Do we want to go to Mount Rainier, which I really wanted to go to? Do we want to go further up north to like the North Cascades uh, in order to have a better chance of uh, getting the auroras? But we were trying to decide where to go. My friend Diana texted me that she was gonna go to Mount Baker, a place that's very up north, uh, as up north as you can go in the US. And it also came with a beautiful landscape and very dark skies, which was the perfect thing for us. We met up with our friend Alejandro and we set off to drive up north. Uh, it was around 5 p.m. so we didn't have a lot of window between uh, that time and when it was starting to get dark. While we were driving, we started getting photos from Europe, places like Switzerland, England, or even Spain with huge auroras, which, uh, you know, it's something super rare. So we were very hyped about it. After a few hours, everybody started going to their cars. It was around like 2 a.m. So everybody was pretty tired and the show definitely went down a little. I stayed up all night. I was uh, doing a time lapse that hopefully will last from the beginning of the show to sunrise, which is the one that you guys saw through the video. And only until I was able to capture the light in Mount Shuxin did I stop the time lapse and try to sleep, which I could. It was very surreal to be there. 
Um, but it was one of the most intense storms we've had in the last 500 years. Just hope this one doesn't ruin the rest of the Nolar Lights for me. Because um, I know most of them won't be like this. Especially when the month prior to that, I saw a solar eclipse. So it's been a pretty good year for amazing things.